Hey there, Sea Dogs. Supplies are a really big part of Sea of Thieves. Whether you're taking on the Fort of the Damned or fighting other players and getting slammed, how many resources you have often makes the difference between turning in your loot by the docker or taking a trip to Davy Jones' locker. So today, I wanted to share some of my secrets about the best ways to get supplies in Sea of Thieves. There's no time to waste, so let's get to it. First thing I want to mention is you need a storage crate. When these things were added to the game, it changed the meta for the better. It is by far the fastest way to collect supplies, no matter what activities you're doing on the sea. You can find these lying around the beaches of non-outpost islands, or buy them from the Merchant Alliance on the outposts themselves. One storage crate will run you about 20,000 gold, and this may seem like a lot at first, but gold in Sea of Thieves doesn't really have a lot of value, so I don't see this as a huge issue. Be sure to use this opportunity to stock up at the outposts as well. The outposts each have more barrels than any island in the game, and each of these are stocked up well enough. Shipwrecks, barrels of plenty, and smaller islands are also great ways to gather resources. Just quickly raise your sails, gather what you need, and get back on the ship. More often than not, it's worth the minute and a half you would risk sitting at an island. So my personal favorite way to get supplies is doing sea forts. They're marked all over the map, they're really quick to complete in less than like 10 minutes, and the supplies they give is absurd. I mean, it took me less than 5 minutes solo to gather all of these supplies. And since sea forts are always really close to outposts, sea forts are often just a great way to start your session. And with this many supplies, how can you say no to that? Spoilers for a pirate's life. In the fifth tall tale, Lords of the Sea, you battle Davy Jones at his coral spire. Ghost ships patrol the spire, and it's your job to take them down. Now, these ships are basically never ending, and by the end of the tall tale you have allied ships that help you take them down. These ghost ships drop tons, and I mean tons of resource crates. I wouldn't recommend this method though, it's just kind of tedious, and like I said, it's just weird. But if you really want to, go ahead. These are just a few of my favorite ways to gather supplies in Sea of Thieves, but how do you often start your session? Like the video if you did, and hey, why don't you subscribe? I'll always keep you up to date on what's new on Sea of Thieves. I just want to say thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers. My last video totally blew up in the algorithm, and I couldn't be happier. I'm super grateful I get to have this chance at a platform, and I'm excited to bring you guys more content in the future. Anyway, I'll see you on the seas.